um, we'll quickly show you how to install and use font your face module for Drupal 9 so this is a Drupal 9 website and first things first you just need to install the module uh, the usual way uh, add new module or you can uh, compose a require to install the module and once uh, the module is been installed and you need to enable uh, the main module which is at font your face and optionally choose from among the sub modules uh, that you need for example if you have if you need uh, if you have an account for Adobe Edge fonts, fontsquill, fonts.com, and an API key from Google Fonts, uh, you can, you know, enable as needed and click install. Otherwise, if you want to upload your own, your own fonts, which you have downloaded and upload to your website via font your face, you simply need to use um, font your face local fonts enable and install and once that's that's installed you can now configure the module to use whatever uh, is needed all right on font settings here on font settings you'll be prompted to you'll be asked to um, which interface or theme would these fonts be used and just to save some some loading performance uh, i'll probably just use it on my theme uh, which will appear on the public front end i wouldn't want the fonts to be used on for example on the administration theme we don't want that so i'll just use it on the theme public theme and i'm using a commercial theme called black black theme so that's it save that configuration once you have saved that configuration okay so for instance we want to upload our local fonts you need to switch to custom fonts and from here add your custom fonts as needed please take note however if you have um if you have fonts that you need to upload, you probably get, in my case, I want to upload the inter font or typeface. This note, however, if you want to use certain fonts, you would normally get or have downloaded or purchased fonts that are in TTF or in OT, OTF font formats. You need to convert this into WOF file types uh, you could easily you could easily convert these fonts for example convert ETF to WOF there are a lot of online converters which can do that and once you have converted these fonts you can now upload this individually uh, as, uh, as needed so for example so for example we want to in, in my case i have downloaded i have uh, i've downloaded the fonts from from google fonts because that's where the inter fonts are available and in my case what i would want is these following typefaces this is the font but I want an interlight version, which is around 300 and re the font weight, and a inter regular 400 font weight, inter medium 500, and so on and so forth. So to be able to use all this, I need to under font your face settings, custom fonts. I need to add these fonts, and I've already earlier added all this from light regular medium up to semi bold and to show you how to upload bold and extra bold add your custom font okay you could easily get a a, uh, a guide for example on google fonts 
I noticed that you know for light that's 300 regular 400 and so on and so forth uh, as, an, as a reference all right uh, again click on custom fonts that's where you will be able to add custom font add, uh, add the needed uh, font face and uh, font weights so for example I'm down to adding inter font bold at 700 so I'll probably just put a label you know just to just to know that this is uh, that font weight inter bold and of course normal or italics I'd use normal for font weight, since I have a guide here, I'd use the 700 for bold. And these are optional really. Uh, without clicking anything, I choose to upload already the, the converted uh, WAF files. And for bold, that's inter bold. All right. So the WAF file is actually being uploaded to your website or your server so click on save okay and just to complete my needs this time I need the extra bold okay extra bold and extra bold which is 800 correct extra bold all right and once you have that, just click save. You now have everything that you need. Okay, uh, the first step is to, you know, enable each font. I'll simply click on new tab, you know, to quickly control click, to quickly open it in a new tab. And it's now it now says enabled. enabled and those are now enabled enabled and enabled so I now have all these fonts available for my use and once um, you have that you can now proceed to actually oh wait sometimes uh, this module is a little bit confusing all right. Once you have enabled those, you can easily check that under browse under browse tab, those are now available, and you know you can disable that if you don't need it. You know, on under font display, this time, you might want to uh, you, you will now have to add a font display that will get all those uh, available fonts that you have enabled. So I'd probably be just uh, use the same label. So for example, what I'm doing is I'd like to use the interregular font for for everything or standard div. No, for everything. Uh, yeah, probably standard div. I'd use standard div. Select the the theme that where it will be used. And just probably put in the same the same label so that you know for consistency and for easier reference so if you want at this point if you want to already use this on your CSS files you could actually just proceed copying this and you know use that on your CSS somewhere and it will and in your CSS classes you know like h1 uh, like paragraph or body etc etc these are already available and can be used already since the wolf files have been uploaded already and has been declared inside your drupal website okay assuming i want to proceed with this interregular so that will be applicable to standard or you could probably label this as standard text you know Since this refers to the things that uh, where it will be used, the paragraph tag and the div, div tags. All right, and probably just 
you know, get back to it if you want to change it again into something else like intermedium or interregular. Okay, and then just save it. And just repeat the process. If you want, for example, to apply a different font weight, so we now have a standard text, a different font weight, for example, for for all your headers, all right? Or you could probably choose H1, H2, H3, but for everything, for all of my headers, I'd want to choose uh, interval and put it and, and provide a label. So this is all headers, you know, just to have a easier reference of what you have set up. Okay, this black. All right, and moving on, going back to my to my um, to my front end, just Control F5 to refresh the, refresh the page. I probably want to also clear the cache here, and also clearing the cache under performance. You know the usual Drupal. Group of caching and right now going to my public front end control F5 again let me see if for some reason this has been implemented already or this is already reflecting all right at this point you can now see here, let me zoom it a bit. You can now see if I choose a head header element or a heading element, for example, H class. By now, you have seen that the font your face has already loaded for my headings, and it is now using the interbold, interbold um, font. And for uh, just in case you see something like your font weight, your intended font weight being overridden by something else you could probably just um, catch where that is happening where the conflict is happening from another CSS possibly in this case this is happening for this CSS class you could probably just disable that or where the conflict is happening or probably just put important you know just to make sure that this gets uh, priority over any other class so i hope that helps and you can probably you know uh, proceed with customizing it for example for h3 you would want that for this particular css class you want that something else all right so i hope that helps and you know let us also double check by the way the the anything that goes for the paragraph tag for example this element here and the divs and as you can see the same way it has also let me check okay paragraph tag the same way it has also implemented the inter interregular and the inter the font face that we have declared all right so i hope that helps um if you need any help just let me know in below comments or reach out to me i'll uh, we'll be posting our contact information and our social media and follow this uh, follow this account or this channel all right